We wanted to explain some of the components that you're going to use for your excitement axe throwing lanes. The, uh, the thing is all run with a computer, but that computer is just this guy. It's called a Raspberry Pi. We use the Raspberry Pi 3. The 4s are not as stable, and also they need a, uh, an adapter for the HDMI cable. So a Raspberry Pi, and this is the ones that uh, we end up sending to you. So there it is. But let's learn about this thing a little bit. I've actually had people that say, hey, you forgot to send me the computer. This is the computer. So uh, about the size of a deck of cards or so. And um, there's a couple of uh, inputs throughout this thing. So let's learn what they do. First, here is our HDMI. So you're going to take just your standard HDMI cable. It doesn't, it's not the micro HDMI, just a standard, or HDMI, it's just a standard HDMI. We'll plug into there. All right, this little thing here is the uh, power. So here's our, uh, our power. It uses um, this little power adapter that's gonna come with it. All right, so there's the power. Then we have some USBs on the side. This is where you're going to put in your dongle for the wireless keyboard and mouse. That will be plugged into one of these. And then we have Ethernet. So this takes just a, a standard Ethernet cable. We'll plug into there. Okay. Now, if you don't have internet, you can set these up wireless, but it's much more difficult and it's not as, as good. It's always better to do things hardwired. If you don't happen to have internet uh, wires that are going to where your projectors are, um, we highly suggest using these. I've used them in my locations. It's a little TP-Link device. These things are neat. Uh, what you do is you just plug it into the wall next to your router and then an Ethernet plugs into the bottom of this thing and then you can plug another one in wherever you want and the Ethernet comes out and goes to it. So it runs the internet right through the electrical wiring in your building. Um, these range from $40 a pair up to $100 a pair, depending on how many outputs they have on the bottom or whether or not they have a, a power outlet on them. You don't need that and you don't need multiples, so it's fine to go with the least expensive one. Um, they also have ones that will also uh, boost your Wi-Fi, so it'll give you more Wi-Fi across the room. It'll pull it through the uh, electrical lines and then be a Wi-Fi thing. So lots of uh, ways to get internet to your Raspberry Pi if you don't have it set up. And this TP link, you can find them on Amazon or your local electronics store or whatever. Um, and there's some other versions. I've just had good success with this. So there's our little animal here. Now, the other thing we have to do is run the card to it. So this is an SD card. Uh, it's actually an SD card adapter. The Raspberry Pi uses a micro SD card. So if you had to write the SD card, your computer probably has a standard SD input and you're gonna put this in, you're gonna write to it, but actually what we're using is just this little chip here. But most computers don't have an input for that little chip. So this adapter lets us write straight to this tiny chip. Okay, these are used a lot in drones and, and uh, smaller devices because we don't need all this extra space. This is all we need. This holds uh, this is a 64 gig chip and you're going to need that type of size. If we look here, we can see that there is the input and you can see the electrical connections are up. So we're going to put the electrical connections up and we're going to slide that in and give it a good solid push all the way in. It's not spring loaded like standard chips, so it's not like you push it and it pops out. If you have to get it out, there's a little ridge and you just kind of hook the ridge with your uh, thumbnail and pull the thing out, but we're just gonna push it all the way in. So there's our card all the way in. Then our power is going to plug in uh, here on the side and um, it only plugs in one way and obviously I tried it the wrong way. So there, our power would be plugged in and then we'll run in our ethernet and then we'll hook up the little dongle that runs our keyboard and mouse and then we just run the hdmi a standard hdmi cable from here to the projector and then we turn things on and it's good to go there is no power switch so as far as turning it on when you power it it goes on that's the beauty of the raspberry pis if you have a momentary 
loss of power. Instead of having to go up and push the on buttons on all the computers in your place, you just fire it back up, it will boot, and you'll be good to go. All right, so there is an overview of the Raspberry Pi. Now we're gonna hook it up to the projector and then set the projector settings.